You don't have to call a plumber if you need to change a valve in your plumbing system. But there are some things you want to be careful about. Let me show you how to change a local shutoff valve in your plumbing. I've got a leaky faucet that I need to change. Normally I would just shut off the water supply here. But you'll notice as I turn this, it starts to drip. And even when it's screwed down all the way, it stops dripping. But it doesn't shut off the water all the way. So I need to replace this local shutoff valve before I can fix the faucet leak. Before you shut the water off to your house, you may want to use the toilet one last time. Once the water's off to the house, you've got one flush per toilet before the toilets won't flush anymore. In our home, the water main comes in right there and that valve shuts it off. You need to find the valve in your home. Now the water is on. I'm gonna turn it off and now there's no water coming into the house. You can verify that the water is off by opening the valve and letting it go. Okay, well, it's almost stopped running now. I'm gonna clean out everything from underneath so I've got clear space to work. Okay, now there's no water coming in when I turn either of these on. Now we can take the valve off. Once you've got everything cleared out, with this underneath just to catch any drippage, or you could put a towel underneath, then break the top one first and unthread this one. And now on the back side, you want to put a wrench on that and on this. I'm going to dump this down the drain and swap it out with a towel so I've got more room. Hold this still and then rotate this one. You can either use crescent wrenches or a box wrench. Okay. Oh, I need a bigger crescent wrench. All right, bigger wrenches. Let me show you one thing. These seal by brass compression fitting. You put that down on the pipe. It fits like a ring over the pipe. You put this over, and then when you screw the valve on, it smashes that to make it basically an integral part of the pipe, and that becomes the seal, so water doesn't come back through that way. This is the replacement valve. I don't need this part, but you'll see in here, this is the compression fitting. This is the only part I need. Let me show you how that works. Basically, you screw this in, if you can see in here, this is where the water is coming in. Right now it's open, but as I close this, you can see that stopper works its way in and now it would be shut off. And ideally there's no flow from here out here when it's off. That's the problem I've got with the valve that's on there now. Before we screw this onto the pipe, put Teflon tape. Teflon tape is a filler that you can put on the threads. It helps the joint seal. This is a flexible tape that you stretch over the threads and wrap it around two or three times. I just pull it till it breaks and put that last string on the threads. Wrap it around. I just pull it to take it off. Now we'll put it back on. If you're getting any value out of this video, then give it a like. Now we're gonna put this back on. We're gonna want the orientation to be so that this is pointing up. We'll get it started by hand and then start torquing it down while I'm holding this crescent wrench. And all you plumbers that are watching this, add your pointers in the comments. I think we're there. Same thing with this one. I wanna get it started by hand and then I can tighten it with the wrench. If I just try starting with the wrench and I cross thread it, I'm likely to strip it and I don't wanna do that. It's easier to tell when you're starting things by hand when you're cross threading. I've got it hand tight. Now we'll just tighten it the rest of the way. Now I gotta move my body. I think we're just about there. And I'm ready to test the valve. That means I gotta go turn the water on. In a worst case scenario, if you do have a leak, you're gonna catch the water. So I'm either gonna bring that tub back. Hopefully that won't matter. Turn the water to the main and back on. There were no new drips in here. Just to double check, I'm gonna turn this and open it now. And it doesn't feel like it's doing anything, but that's actually a good sign. Let's check up and see if it works. And it does. Now you know how to replace a localized water shutoff valve in your home. If you're growing up and your dad's not in your daily life, like I did when I was growing up, then check out the Map to Manhood. Go to maptomanhood.org, download the guide. This activity would be one of the things on the education milestone for a household repair. Always remember, you can still succeed, even if your dad isn't in your daily life, and you do have a dad that loves you. And I'll see you on the next video.